color and umbrella. Let's sublimate a tote bag. I got these super cute tote bags from Vinyl Fun and I love them because they're sublimation. Also, can I just say that I've had the hardest time finding like actually really good sublimation tote bags and they actually have the good ones that are thick and feel like just like the canvas bag and not those really thin flimsy grocery bags that you get. So how exactly do you sublimate a tote bag? Well, I'm glad that you asked, let me show you. First, you wanna make sure you get all of the lint off. With these bags especially, they just attract lint and little particles so easily with how this fabric is. You have to make sure you get a lint roller and roll those off. And honestly, even if you feel like you look at it and you think, oh, there's nothing on there, trust me, there's stuff on there. See, I mean, look at that, can you see this? That was all on there and it didn't even look like it had anything on there, but it did. I have my print image all printed off. Another tip of something that I like to do is I actually like to rip around my corners just so that there's no harsh edges that can transfer over from my paper at all, especially when I'm doing white on white. So I have my image all ripped out and I am ready to press. I have my heat press set to 400 and I'm gonna press this for 60 seconds. So let's get to pressing. An important thing with sublimation is you always wanna make sure you put something inside of your bag. I mean, it's the same as with a t-shirt because when you do that ink on there, you don't want any of that ink to transfer through and then you'll end up having a faded image on the back side. I've got my big sheet of parchment paper and I am going to pre-press my tote bag for 10 seconds. The reason that you do the pre-press is because it helps get any of the wrinkles out and the most important part is it helps get out any moisture that might be in there. Moisture is an enemy of sublimation so you want to make sure you get all of that out. I have my image here. I want to make sure it doesn't move at all so I'm going to take my handy dandy spray adhesive, hold it back about 12 inches and lightly spray my image. And I always like to make sure I don't have any spots where it looks like I have like water droplets. So I've done that then I am just going to go ahead and place my image. So I got my bag off and look at that ink transfer. Perfect. Just make sure you take your paper from the middle and there we have it sublimated beautifully. All the colors came through exactly how I wanted them to and just how they looked on my computer. If you have any questions about this bag or sublimation in general, please just let me know. Again, got this bag at Vinyl Fun and I have tagged them. So go check them out and all their other awesome, amazing sublimation blanks. But have the most amazing day ever and happy sublimating. Bye.